Hey know. they Live the Czech family, Ashley here. Today on this episode, we're gonna take you along with us on our recent trip to Moab, Utah. We're gonna see some amazing, gorgeous views and some fun things that we did there. But first, we're gonna talk about one thing every RVer needs to have. That's right, folks. One thing that every RVer should have that after being on the road full time for two whole weeks, I stumbled across, I'm sure I'm not the first person that's come up with this idea, but I wanted to share it with you because I've watched hundreds of hours of RVing videos and I've never seen anyone talk about pool noodles and how pool noodles can be the difference between life and death for your sensitive materials. Using these as a support and or wedging system in your RV I think is a great idea. We were at the pool at Palisade at one of our stops and I had this idea because some of the things were shifting around. I had very sensitive equipment. Think of like your generator with all those switches and knobs. You don't want that slamming into your toolbox and snapping pieces off or our Blackstone has a couple little valves and things like that. That was kind of shifting all over the place and I was really concerned they were either going to puncture some of those faux walls, you know, that aren't real walls in an RV or snap off and break completely and then the whole piece of equipment would be useless. Saw these at the general store, picked a few up, started cutting them up, and they just do a lot to help with that cushion and support. I was looking for uh, an item to help kind of support our water hose because it was kind of hanging off and just causing a little undue stress on the connection to the RV when we were hooked up to water. Slice this guy right down the middle, cut a little portion, and it fit perfectly and gave me the support that I was looking for for that hose. And there's just so many other options and capabilities that you can do with a pool noodle on top of busting it out at the pool. So that's our two week pro tip for you guys, but I wanna hear from you. What are your thoughts on using pool noodles? Do you do that? Is there something even better maybe that I haven't discovered yet? Throw a comment below in this video. We do appreciate when you guys thumbs up, comment, and share videos like this here at Live the Trek. And so with that, Come along with us on this portion as we take a look at the beautiful sights of Moab, Utah. Oh 
Pokemon. Peter's checking out his pictures that he took. How'd they turn out, Pete? Look, there's a picture of our old house. Yeah, old house. So, we're wrapping up last night at Moab um, and Canyonlands and all that. How, how do you feel? Never, never been, have we never been here before? I could talk today. <laughs> I like Moab. It has a really fun vibe. It's just really colorful and has so many little cafes and um, cute restaurants. We went to a place called The Spoke on Center and it was really good and we got mm, ice cream cool. there tonight. Um, I definitely like to come back and stay longer whenever it's not 100 degrees. Yeah, it was like 103 when we left at, what was it, like 6? It was like 103 in the truck. Yeah, so it's much more pleasant now. The sun's going down and we got this little green belt hanging out in. So, hey. Thanks for treating us right, Moab.